um, Matty, how the, how the boys responded to the, uh, to the first result and, and what, how do you sort of feel the group is placed going into a, obviously a very tough game in Canberra? Yeah, it was um, a bit of a, uh, you know, a sad old Monday, I guess. You know, you've got to go over it and, and, and sort of point out the things that we didn't do well. And look, to be fair, the guys know that they didn't play well. Um, but it's still a process you've got to go through, I think, to, to make sure you, you, know, you really understand uh, what you need to do to play at this level. What makes the uh, opposition this week though? I think I read today that they've won 19 of their last 20 in Canberra. Mm. Why do you think they're so hard to beat down there? And is it is it more due to the fact that they're just a, a great team? Oh, look, you know, they've always been hard to beat down there, so mm. it's not, you know, it's not a recent record. Um, yeah, look, they, they do the simple things well again. Like, um, you know, they, they, they play very well as a team, they know they're clear on what they want to do and they've developed the style that, that works for them You know, over the last you know, few years under Steve Larkin and now under Dan McKellar. So, um, you know, it's up to us to go down there and, and, and try and you know, push them out of their comfort zone and, and not let them have what they want. Up front, um, do you, do you have, are you sort of, what, how did you rate the performance on the, on the weekend and where do, you, where do you hope the boys improve on? Oh, look, we were... I thought we were a, long, a, a fair way off the pace, you know, our set piece. Um, you know, we, we, tr we tried hard, the effort was there, but we weren't accurate enough. Uh, and that's across the board, not just only in the forwards, but, um, you know, specifically around the set piece, we need to improve there because we know the Brummies will, will target that area uh, against us and, and they're very good at it. So a lot of injuries sort of mounting up already. You got a suspension to Izzy. As a coach, how do you keep the morale high and keep the guys focused on the job ahead? Well, that, that's the thing with injuries or a suspension, isn't it? Someone else gets an opportunity, so it makes their day. Um, so, you know, you really try and f uh, celebrate that um, achievement for that for those guys uh, that are, you know, like, you know, at times it could be making the debut or, or guys that have been out of the team and getting an opportunity. So you, you try and, you know, be happy for them and, and then make sure uh, the performance comes for them and that, you, know, you know that they'll bring the enthusiasm coming in as well. So, um, yeah, I don't think morale... You know, you know, as I said, Monday was a sad, sad day, I guess. But uh, from then, we've tried to use it as motivation to really go out there and show more of what we're, what we're about. And speaking of suspension, you get Lockie back this week. How has mm. he changed your team by now at Kevin Forward? Oh, he's Lockie's one of the guys that you, you want to play with. You know, he's he's in the trenches with the with the lads, and uh, you know what you're going to get out of him. He's going to bring aggression. He's going to bring you know 100 percent you know heart and, and soul uh, to the team. So. Um, he's, a, he's, a, he's a very important addition this week and, and as you said, pretty good timing um, you know, with a few guys uh, being out of action. Cool. Yep. Thanks,